I want to talk to you about something today that we have all heard of. Some of us have been accused of doing this. It's the word conspiracy. And it's attached with the idea of conspiracy theorist. This picture you see here is just a generic picture to give you somewhat of an idea of when you're connecting the dots on a bunch of ideas and seeing what will stick, what is correlating with the other, what information that you have researched that you deem to be truthful and factual, and where does it fit in the overall puzzle of the end game. Um, a lot of times we look at things and we don't know what the end game is, but we know something is happening and we can't quite put our finger on it, yet we know it's it's not it's not right, it's not normal, it's not doesn't function in a logical manner. And we we sometimes get labeled as nuts, as kooks, uh, and the word conspiracy theorist has been a derogatory word. But we realize that if we just look up the in the dictionary, Merriam-Webster's, and we just see what the definition of conspiracy theory is, and it's a theory that explains an event or set of circumstances as a result of a secret plot by usually powerful conspirators. Um, and okay, that's kind of general, but okay, it explains a, uh, an event or a set of circumstances. Um, and that could really be anything. And of course, it has to be, you know, a secret plot, usually by powerful conspirators. Not necessarily, according to Merriman, that's what they say. Um, however, it's the idea. But let's look at maybe examples in a sentence. This is a real popular one. Conspiracy theories sprung up after the leader's assassination. Now, we know there's certain leaders in our own country who... Uh, conspiracy theories did spring up after the assassination because the particular set of event or circumstances didn't quite fit the logic or the mainstream narrative. And we've seen this idea happen time and time again. And so some of us <clears throat> have been talking about other conspiracy theories. Some of them have been around for a long, long time, 100 plus years, and the one we're going to be going over today. Um, we see these other examples on the, on the web uh, of all these conspiracy far right. There's this, there's that. And you can see here on even the, dic uh, the dictionary, they're even giving examples of, quote unquote, what they believe to be examples of conspiracy theorists. Of course, we know that this is all just propaganda and the way you view it. But let's see if we're not the only ones. Let's go to the FBI, their vault. Now this is the vault. This is the FBI converted many uh, FOIA or Freedom of Information Act documents to an electronic format, PDF. Uh, there may be viewed below. Um, this is all kinds of summaries, excerpts, documents, and subjects, alphabetical name you can use to browse. So this is coming from the FBI. We're on the FBI, the vault.fbi.gov. We're in the reading room. So this is a room we can go in here and we can figure out everything, every FOIA request up to date, A through Z, has been filed here. This is for public. This is for us. We the people. The Federal Bureau of Investigations. They do domestic investigations. They operate domestically. And so they get this information out so this was interesting when this came out a, uh, a couple weeks ago and let's go to the peas here you can clearly see what we're doing now we have everything from pearl buck all the way down to the pentagon spy case but we are looking for something a little bit different and it's right here right here protocols of the learned elders of zion why is this getting released, excuse me here, on the FBI's vault? Why Freedom of Information Act has, has got this has, has, has not been released up until very recently through our government. Now for a long time, let's go back to the peas. For a long time we've talked about this. We've talked about this. 
and we said, wait a minute, I'm, I'm reading some stuff that originally came out of Russia in the early 1900s, in the very early part of the 20th century, and the second I even heard anything about it, it was automatically dismissed as a conspiracy in a Russian propaganda document. And I thought it was really interesting because I started looking at the dates and I started wondering, well, what else was happening? So let's, let's pull up this PDF here through the FBI vault. Um, it's, it's quite a large document. Um, So we can see, okay, FOIA, all right. So let's get a little larger for you guys to see this. Now this is the uh, the cover page. There we go. Let's try this for you guys. So this was the uh, cover page of its main one, not the other one. And uh, let's just see what the introduction is. Let's just read the introduction. The protocols consist of 24 documents first published in Russian in 1905 by Sergei Nautilus. In 1906 copies were placed in the British Museum and Jewish authorities naturally deny the authenticity of these documents. In an interview in February 17, 1921 given publicity to the New York world, Mr. Henry Ford expressed, expressing himself in regard to the protocol said, they fit in with what's going on. They have fitted the world's suited up, uh, situation up to this time. They fit in now. So we have something that came out in the earliest, early, early 20th century, 1905. Some copies were made in 1906. You know, you're talking, you know, 10, 12 so years, you know, years later, Henry Ford is expressing himself in the regards of the protocols. And it comes the, the documents in Russian were translated to English by a Russian correspondent in the Morning Post. Now, even though they were translated, you guys, there also was, in 1906, copies were placed in the British Museum. Now, if if these copies, and by the way, a lot uh, a, a lot of individuals are saying that this is a a fraudulent uh, pr a piece of propaganda that was uh, written up by the uh, the Russian uh, the, the the czar, pretty much uh, head of the Russian at the time of the early uh, early 20th century. And, of course, right here, even in the introduction, it says they, the, that a lot of Jewish authorities naturally deny the authenticity of these documents. And I will add, a lot of other Western uh, authorities do actually deny the authenticity of this as well. It's interesting, though, like we said before, we have an actual statement from Henry Ford talking about it. And, you know, these things... Uh, um, we, we look, uh, and you know, some of this stuff is, is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and this really explains, uh, what's going on and has been since, well, for more than a hundred years. And we can look back now in, in 2020 and we can see events leading up and we can lay this document on top of our past in my lifetime and see that a lot of what this is saying has come true and is correct. So one may say that, well, never really happened. That's okay, it's just a piece of propaganda. But if you understand history, you know that documents like this can only be proven over a period of time. And we've seen the things in here have come true and are fomenting to this day. It, this talks briefly about the answer is socialism, Bolshevism, Sovietism. The magic formula is government ownership, management, and control of everything by a parallastic autocracy. Autocracy, sorry. Russia is the first outstanding and wrenched example, which will be next. 
So it's it's interesting what they talk about Bolshevism, socialism, Sovietism uh, in this document. And you know, you guys, it, it, this thing is this thing is long. Look at this, Protocol One. You know, political freedom is an idea, but not a fact. That's very true to this day. Uh, let's go over here to Protocol Two. Uh, let's see here. We'll go over here. Uh, here. We have had to sacrifice a few of our people, but one of the most I've uh, got a thousand going. Protocol three, our goal is to only a few steps off. Soon, states in Europe will be locked in, in coils of a snake, and they are we'll called the European Union. That's not like really, you know, people will be chained down heavily, toiled by you know, abject poverty. Very true. Uh, gentle. Uh, masonry secretly services for the blind undetermined all faith tear apart principle I mean you guys think you can read all this um, there's so many protocols and it goes over and there's a there's a lot here and so why would the FBI again be putting this out what's up with the Russian Revolution now we go on Wikipedia and of course you know we know that Wikipedia it's not the most reliable of sources, can, can be changed, but the, the documents did talk about the Russian Revolution, the Bolshevik Revolution, all that kind of stuff. And when did that happen? Well, it's, what was it, uh, 1917, kind of in the same time frame of the Russian Empire. There was a Bolshevik Revolution, uh, there was an establishment at the end of the Civil War. Um, we talk about this is about the same time that these documents were starting to come out as quote unquote frauds or propaganda of the Russian Empire. Uh, you know, Nick, uh, Tsar Nicholas II was, I believe, in in power at that time. That he actually that was when the 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 Russian Empire ruled by a Tsar turned into an actual government. Yeah, here we go. Emperor Nicholas II abdicated his throne. He abdicated his throne to what they call a grassroots community assemblies called Soviets. Remember that Sovietism? So what are we talking about here, you guys? We're talking about a document that has been touted as a fake, as a piece of propaganda for over a hundred years and we can go back and look at each one of these protocols and lay them back in in time and come up to present and we can see that these are pretty spot on for a russian propaganda document so called it has been pretty spot on i just want to understand this that all we're doing is connecting the dots and we're seeing what's happening and we're using our logic again I thank you for watching there should be more videos coming out involving stuff just like this and understand that a lot of what we do comes from these sources this is not my opinions anymore I'm now sharing a source from the FBI so conspiracy theorist well I guess the FBI is a conspiracy theorist as well and they're putting out the same information that we've been telling you for a long long time I want to thank you God bless you and your family pray keep the armor of God on always and fear God only God bless